So a lot of people don't know, but I actually have a course, which is the LinkedIn Ads course, Beginner to Pro, and I'm now updating, I'm revamping the whole thing. And I'm adding a bunch of sections, which is super exciting. And for the first time ever, I'm releasing my standard operating procedures, which is basically what people pay me to do um, for, you know, they $12,000 in total lifetime value. People literally pay me based on these SOPs, these standing operating procedures. And it's how I train my people and my freelancers to do LinkedIn ads really, really well for people. And for the first time, I'm going to release this as a Google Sheet, which goes step by step. And I'm going to go over this in a minute. So if you're interested in signing up to this course, the price is definitely going up because I think like adding this standard operating procedures, I cannot stress enough how... Um, you know, this is the foundation of a service and a business. If you have these standard operating procedures inside, you can literally call yourself a LinkedIn Ads Pro. You can sell this as a service in your agency and your, you know, as a freelancer, whatever you want, and you can charge loads of money for it. I charge, you know, I won't go into how much I charge. That's a whole other topic and you need to charge what you need to charge. But it's basically a monthly retainer or potentially even a percent of the amount they spend. So the more they spend, the more we earn. So this is really awesome. So if you don't follow me already on LinkedIn, definitely do because I'm always bringing out um, loads of different, um, you know, my updating what I'm doing at the moment with clients and what I'm learning. And LinkedIn ads is never, you never stop learning. And this is why it's really important that I'm updating it now. But it's also not like you just know LinkedIn ads and that's it. No, you need to be updating. It's constantly changing. And this year, for example, they're bringing out so many new tools for us advertisers. And I feel like strategy is always shifting depending on, um, not only who you're targeting all that kind of stuff but just generally it's going to be shifting based on the tools we have and how the market develops over time so what's in the course um, here's like sign up page and the course is basically for b2b business owners for marketing managers or v, you know anyone who's doing linkedin ads in a bigger company for a you know s small to medium sized business or even a SaaS founder or someone who's doing a SaaS business if you want to get leads and generate demand with a really specific icp then linkedin ads are for you and you should learn how to do it really 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 well um, there are a bunch of reasons why you can do this course and what you can learn but I'm gonna go over the um, specifics firstly who am I um, I am a I ha do LinkedIn ads I do hun uh, over hundred thousand dollars a month of LinkedIn ads for mostly B2B SaaS clients but for B2B clients in general and I'm spending a lot of money every single month and I'm learning so much I'm literally the person doing it I'm the person who's learning I also have a team who helps me but I'm physically in the platform every single day learning a lot of different things and I'm trying to keep you know I push all this information out on my YouTube channel but also a lot on LinkedIn so follow me there but I'm now redeveloping this whole course revamping it for 2023 so it's really up to date because strategies have changed quite a lot so I'm going to be going over a lot more about strategy and how you should structure it's not just how to do the ads but how to actually have strategy in the ads which is super way more valuable because a lot of the actual technical stuff how to do stuff is quite simple but strategy is where you get really good and how you get the results so we go over the foundations um, introduce the course um, LinkedIn campaign manager all the different like tools you have and how to learn other formats all that kind of stuff then we're going to go over the objectives and go deep dive into which objectives I use why I wouldn't use some why I would use one over the other depending on your targeting depending on what you're trying to do um, there's a whole up revamp of the targeting course I'm actually going to be you know going a lot more into account based targeting now account based targeting is something that I've been doing more recently and having huge success with and I would think it would be a real shame if you're not utilizing account based targeting but I'm also going to go over five different ways I would target beyond just job title job title is the most uh, precise but it actually misses out a big chunk of your targeting so I would go way beyond just job title and then I have um retargeting like a pro so this is all about retargeting and this is super important and this will also link into um uh the demand gen stuff because with the demand gen we have more nurture i do 90 day retargeting nurture sequences which i'll go over within the strategy and this is all about retargeting people and having layers of retargeting having the bottom 30 day retargeting layer which is more bottom of funnel 90 day retargeting layer which is more nurture and this is demand gen 
a lot. So this is all retargeting like a pro. Then we have audience expansion, why you should not use it most of the time and goes into that a little bit more. Ad formats, all the different ad formats, how you can utilize them, which ones work well together, which is really important. Text ads, don't forget about text ads, all this kind of stuff. And then we have LinkedIn ads benchmarks. So I go over the benchmarks, what you should expect, what your conversion rate should be, what's your CPC, CPL, all that kind of stuff. Audience network, um, you know, if you want to use it or not, there is big debate between us LinkedIn ads guys who are doing this every day. Um, and, you know, I have my opinion on it and what how you could use it, you know, as well. Most of the time you should probably not use it, in my opinion. Um, budget and scheduling. So this goes all into the budding budget, the bidding um, this goes into bidding strategy and how to bid really, really well. Um, and this has actually changed for me recently. I had a way I'd always use manual before, but now I'm actually trying to launch the ads with um, Lown LinkedIn to do its thing and then going to manual and trying to optimize from there. Um, and I'm going to go all into that in that part of the course. The ads, what, what it does it take to make so this goes into like the ad creative and the ad copy like what exactly do we should we be doing to get really high click for rates and um with the ad creative ad copy and how to a b test all that kind of stuff then we have lead magnets which is how to design you know basically lead magnets are really important if you're doing lead gen ads you need a really good lead magnet so it goes on to the different friction styles i go deep dive into lead magnets we have all about the insight tag how to install it um, and all, all of that kind of stuff, which is really important to, you know, to get your conversion tracking right. So I go deep dive into conversion tracking, how to do conversion tracking. Just because if you're sending people to landing pages, you really need to know all the different nuances of conversion tracking. It's really important. Reporting, how I do reporting and analytics, it's super important. Um, then I'm going to go into strategy, which is lead gen, demand gen, the follow-up sequence. You know, how do you convert a lead into um, uh, a demo, free trial sales call. Um, learn this one to unlock your long-term sales goals. Email marketing is far from learned. So I go a little bit into email marketing. And account-based marketing and intro. This is really awesome. Account-based marketing is why LinkedIn ads, you know, one of the key reasons we can do account-based marketing at scale on LinkedIn is one of the best platforms, if not the best platform to do account-based targeting, account-based marketing, where we find a group of people, a group of companies, say a list of 1,000 companies, like you can upload them from Crunchbase, for example, really awesome series A or series B tech companies. And then you target people within those companies. It could be like the VP of marketing or the marketing manager and a few different job titles. And we're targeting to a group of people within the companies which is awesome and how that can work with um, outbound really, really well. So the reason why this, the reason why this course is actually, I'm going to be increasing the price is because I'm actually going to, for the first time ever, give this super, um, give my full blown SOPs. So this is on another level with this one Google sheet. This one Google sheet is my business, which turns 10, tens of thousands of dollars a month. Um, I'm literally turning over with this just one Google Sheet. It's basically the standard, standard operating procedures which I'm constantly updating from when I learn and how things work. And I've recently revamped it myself within my own company. I've learned a lot, lot before I do massive setup fees and upfront stuff um, and do this big upfront thing. But now I've realized there's such a big barrier to entry that I do a little bit less upfront, have a much less setup fee. So there's no barrier to entry. People can just pay me, we can get on with it. I just take a little bit longer to achieve the results, which is, I think, what people actually want because it doesn't actually take longer. They would rather set up the lead gen first, then the demand gen stuff, which is all the retargeting. Then we have monthly managing and reporting. So this is all here. And there's loads of videos within each you know, case. So for example, um, deep dive client strategy session. What should you do in a client strategy session? But you should also do this for yourself, okay? Make a brief uh, ad of the top of funnel review. So this is the setup of the lead gen, for example. So I have a bunch of videos here as well, which are Loom videos, which go over um, each of these different elements. So you can go through this and just, you literally just follow step by step, you know, first, overview you know what is it all about make sure the client has given our business manager access so this is literally you can set up your own freelancing or agency or consulting business based on this and literally there is so much demand for linkedin ads you can put this in to your existing agency 
paid social agency, your cold email marketing agency, whatever you come to currently run, you can add this as a service or you can just totally focus on this. This one service is turning me over tens of thousands a month um, in ad rev, in not in ad revenue, in revenue for my business. Um, and I am building my whole business around this one SOP. I only do LinkedIn ads under this company, under this brand kim.co if you want me to do your ads for you i can also do them for you um, but this is how i would do them so i'm creating all these little videos naming conventions i have this within the course but they're also here and you go step by step set up the targeting then you should set up the creative and copy you make sure that's sent out to the you know whoever's doing that because that was always has a long lead time create all the campaigns send the loom videos for review then we have content strategy for demand create retargeting campaigns so that's lead gen forms i would this is how, what I'll do with the lead gen forms. Then it's the demand gen stuff. Then I have the monthly management, daily check-in and campaigns, you know, communicate on Slack, weekly check-in. This is actually what I give to my freelancers and employees. Um, and I expect them to do this and I expect myself to do this. So I'm checking, checking on the campaigns every single day. I'm communicating. And there's a little bit here saying how long you should spend on each, what you should be doing. Communicate on Slack every single day, daily check-in on the campaign, weekly check-in on optimized campaigns. I'd always do a bi-weekly meeting, monthly reporting and a monthly you know, things. So here's also how I'd uh, do the reporting as well. And there are a few different ways you can do reporting, but it's all there. This is the foundations of my business and the reason why I'm raising my prices for this course, because I'm giving away this one thing. It sounds super simple, but literally, if you have this, you have a business. Um, and this is how you, what you would follow. This is the standard operating procedure. It's actually taken me years to develop this. And the reason why it's so simply put here is because you can write, it's easy to write something along but it's really hard to condense it into something concise. That actually takes longer. Writing something concise, short, and perfect, like really accurate is harder than just blabbing on for a thousand. When you don't know about a topic, you end up blabbing, 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 blabbing. But when you really know about it, you can concisely communicate it in a really simple way. This is why this looks simple, because I've spent um, hours, thousands of hours and years um, doing LinkedIn ads to a point where I'm so specific and I know exactly what we need to do, and it's all down here in this really awesome Google Sheet, which you will get access to, but I'm raising my prices because I'm giving this away for free. Not free, but part of the course, which never was part of it. Another thing that comes with the course is um, this awesome project management doc, which is great. So you have like the deliverables you're gonna give the client or to yourself or to you know whoever, maybe it's your boss. Part of this, you get this really cool name convention. So for example, it's all dynamic. So if you change this to middle of funnel, you change that there, it changes here. So this is the naming conventions you should have within your campaign manager to keep it really simple. And there's a whole video around naming conventions that you should have. Um, name conventions are really important because you're just gonna be a massive mess very quickly if you don't do name conventions well. So now I'm giving this as part of the management report. report. So I'm not gonna teach you how to do this here and what they all mean. There's, you know, part of the course is gonna teach you all about name conventions. So you can look like a pro if you do it for clients or for your boss, but it's all there. Um, the next one is which pages you should put all the pages you are going to be retargeting here and all the pages from your website. So it'll be like the blog page and the demo request page and all. you have that all there and you should be double checking. It's all within campaign manager there and a description of what it is. And then you're checking whether or not the pixel is firing. So that's all there. Then you have LinkedIn targeting. So you should go into like, okay, which locations are we targeting? Are we? I do this all in a Google Sheet before even touching LinkedIn campaign manager. I get you know, make sure it's all there really neatly. What company sizes are we doing? What segmentations are we doing? Are we doing, okay, we're doing small companies versus large companies. I'm going to have to segment that. What job titles, manager below, director above, potentially that's a good segmentation. What groups, what skills, what company targeting, what function? So all of this goes into this part. Um, another cool thing here is a UTM parameters. You should get your UTM parameters properly. I talk about UTM parameters in the course, you should learn all about that. But within the UTM parameters, you should be talking about, you know, the source, the medium. So it's all there and it's all dynamic. So if you change this to just LinkedIn, it changes the, it changes this. Um, so if you change the destination to forward slash blog, it changes it here. So then you just copy it here and it goes to your website with the UTM parameters. And you need those UTM parameters. Those UTM parameters are here and it's after the question mark. So this, this is your website and after the question mark is UTM parameters, which is gonna tell your Google Analytics or your CRM exactly what it's all about. So that's really important. 
Um, and that's so you have your assets and a few other bits, but that's the main, this Google project management doc is really important. I'll probably be adding some other cool little templates and all that kind of stuff. But if you haven't done the course, click on the description link below on this here. If it's this is on YouTube or if this is on our website, there'll probably be a button or if it's on LinkedIn, you can, you know, probably there'll be some link somewhere which is going to take you directly to the course. Um, and you can definitely, definitely, what you should also do is email me saying, I really am desperate to do this course. Do you have any discount codes? I have some, sometimes I have a couple every month I give out. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll get one. So email me to see if there's a discount code. And if not, then just sign up to the course. It definitely worth the price. I should probably even double the price, even more than what I have now. It's, this is literally everything you need to need to become a complete LinkedIn Ads Pro and also if you do the course I'm also very friendly and you can reach out to me and I'm much more likely to help you in an email or on LinkedIn direct message if you're doing my course so if you get stuck and you message me there's a very high chance that I give you a very detailed um, either I just jump on Loom and give you like a detailed hey this is what you're doing wrong this is what you could do right this is what I think kind of thing the final part I'm going to give to this course is I'm now changing strategy so much the whole strategy around LinkedIn ads is always dynamically changing and I'm going to be updating what the strategies are between lead gen demand gen all this kind of stuff demand gen is so important now and you need to learn really heavily on demand gen a lot of people that you learn LinkedIn ads from are all just talking about getting leads, getting leads with lead gen forms or whatever. I'm actually really more against lead gen forms. You should really focus on demand gen strategy. Demand gen strategy is all about this kind of like more like 90 day retargeting layer and nurture sequences and you know, demand gen generally beyond LinkedIn ads is super the way to go. It's really important. And within paid media and paid social and specific LinkedIn ads, demand gen strategy is a winner. You need to be doing that. So within this course, we go deep diving into demand gen strategy. So to sign up to that link, do the course. And if you're not ready to do that course, I also have a free course on targeting. You can also sign up in the link description below.